been a dream. Oh, I certainly hope. Oh, I hate dreams like that. It was so vivid. Of course I'm sweating. Ugh, gross. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 2 a.m. I hardly got any sleep. Ugh. Well, maybe if I... Maybe if I just go get some water... That way I'll have something I can think about that isn't... Ugh, that awful nightmare. Oh, I got some water in my water bottle. I guess I'll have some of that right now and try and go back to bed. I didn't have very much. Have to fill it up tomorrow. Ugh, now I gotta pee. Gosh dang it, I just. Ugh, I want some rest. Oh well, I guess I'm up now. Guess I can go fill my water bottle. Yeah, let's, let's do that. It'll... <sighs> um, keep me distracted. <clears throat> Stupid nightmares. Well, I know it was just a dream. That's, that's all. Just a dream. Uh... Hi. Why are you still awake? Huh? Oh. oh. You could ask me the same question. Well, it's just that I, um, may or may not have had a nightmare. And I can't exactly fall back to sleep. I was coming out here to refill my water bottle to try and keep myself distracted, you know? Try not to think about it too much. Yeah. I I'm okay. Yeah. Once I opened my eyes, I realized it was a dream. It's one of those ones where you're being chased and then you can't run away. Yeah, they are pretty nasty. I do not enjoy them. <laughs> you don't mind if I come and sit down, do you? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, um, what have you been watching on TV? If you don't mind my asking, that is. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Hey, um, would you mind comforting me about something? I know we live together and everything as roommates, but... I also kind of see you as a really great friend, and I was wondering if I could kind of console with you real fast. Yeah. Well, it's just that, um, I've had a lot going on, and it's just really nice to hang out and talk to somebody, someone who isn't, uh, Frustrating. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so I don't know, I guess I just want to talk, you know? You're a good friend. And... I'm happy when I'm by you. And, well, I just... Um... In the nightmare, it wasn't just me who was running away. It was you, too. Someone had broken in. And they were threatening both of us. But you, you were so ready to protect us and where we lived, our home. And I was so scared. I mean, they were adamant about hurting us, about hurting you, about hurting me. And so I guess just... Lying there, I... I couldn't... I couldn't just lay there, not knowing if you were okay. So, I not only came out here with the intention to fill up my water bottle, but I also just had to check on you. And make sure that you were okay. I was just scared of losing you, I guess. I mean, we lived together for a while now, and I consider us close friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I also really like your cooking. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it tastes pretty great, so... <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry I enjoy it. Yeah, well, look, thanks. I can tell you're trying to help me. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Truly, it does. Yeah, I know it might sound silly, but just having someone to talk to about what scares you, especially when it concerns them, is helpful. Because I imagine you wouldn't want me to not share this information with you, especially if it was regarding you in the nightmare, because it was... We are both in danger. <sighs> but now... Now I see that you're safe, and... I see that I am too. Of course, that doesn't get rid of the fear. It helps, though. Sorry, I'm just really tired is all. Mm hmm And I'm I'm okay. I just I don't wanna leave you. I don't want you to be alone. I I don't wanna be alone. Yes, really. Because I, I care about you, and... Well, in my nightmare, this was kind of what happened. We were staying up watching TV, talking, and... Then I went to bed. And the next thing I knew, I heard noises, and someone was... Pushing open my window, climbing in. 
you hurt me, and you ran in, and you were so ready to defend me, to protect me, and yourself. It's really admirable, but promise me you won't actually risk your life. Well, yeah, because I care about you, like I said. <sighs> but, um, I should probably get up and try and get ready for bed and get more sleep. Especially since, um, I know you're safe now, and... I mean, yeah, is, is it okay if I hang out with you a little bit more? I wouldn't want to, um... I don't know, overstep? I know it's not good for us to be around each other 24-7, so... <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. When I say stuff like that, it kind of can sound like we're a couple, huh? <sighs> Disappointed? That we're not a couple? I... <laughs> hey, don't mess with me while I'm tired. <laughs> You're so mean. Could you... Could you, um... Huh? Lay down with me? Um... I mean... That is what I was going to ask, but that's kind of weird. Could I lay on your lap, actually? I promise it's nothing weird, it's just this way I know you're safe. Even if I do fall asleep. If if I do fall asleep, then please wake me up, because that would be kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'll um, just <clears throat> move down here like this. You're really soft and comfy, you know? And don't worry. I'm not going to say anything to anybody. Mm -mm. This is a secret between me and you, promise. Yeah, nobody needs to know about this. If they ever found out, we would never hear the end of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right, they probably would. <sighs> Can't seem to catch a break, huh? They always gotta be picking on us about something. Well, if you don't mind, I am quite comfortable. Do you care if I fall asleep here? Are you going to be able to fall asleep here? Uh oh, you'll wake me up. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I just, um, I care about you a lot. I need to know that you're safe. And after my nightmare, my anxiety is not doing well. So, um, if you truly and honestly don't mind, I think it probably would be a good idea for me to 
try and close my eyes while I'm right here. Well, I'm gonna nod off then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Good night.